Good morning, everybody. How we doing this morning? Oh man, my windshield's a little fogged up. Hold on. He's not gonna turn around anyhow. I'll talk. Behind that windshield, right the hell up this morning. <laughs> Do I got a busy week this week? Holy shit balls! I uh, I'm driving from Tyrone, PA, down to Mifflin Town, where I'm at. Right, I'm in I'm in Tyrone. I gotta drive a big deer on the field. I don't know what it was, but it was an awful big deer. But I'm driving from Tyrone down to uh, down to Mifflin Town, PA, and I got to drive from Mifflin Town, PA, down to there's something in the middle of the road. What the hell was that? Is that? Oh, it's a fucking house cat. Ah, uh, I got to drive from Mifflin Town and down to Monmouth Junction, down New Jersey way. Uh, you gotta get down there, deliver a load of pallets, drive from New Jersey back to Mifflin Town, PA, and then tomorrow, or Tuesday, yeah, tomorrow, it's, it's uh, 1 a.m. It's 1 a.m. I got a load, I don't even know what I'm loading. I'm loading something going out to Wisconsin. I'm guessing it's either, it's either something for a log house or, a hot tub or something along those lines so it'll be what it'll be and uh, I gotta deliver that probably I'm guessing on Thursday probably reload then Thursday or Friday coming back to PA deliver that on Monday the following week but yeah it's gonna be a it's gonna be one of those weeks it's gonna be one of those weeks figure we'd uh, start out a uh, trucker video here for everybody and See if we can't get some interesting shit to happen this week. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. So, yeah, tune, follow along, and uh, yeah, let's make a trucker vlog video, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Appreciate y'all for that. Yeah, stay tuned. Follow along. Let's go. Let's go. Hope everybody's having a good October so far. Peace and love, everybody. Follow along. Hey, we are locked and loaded. It is 3 a.m. 3 a.m. We got our trailer on. We're ready to rock and roll. We're headed for Monmouth Junction, New Jersey. Let's get it, baby. Let's get it. We need a dash of diesel fuel. We're gonna go. Oh, we might get down here to the old stop 35 and get a shot down the old Onvo. Get a shot of fuel down there, I guess. It's about as good as any. They have decent diesel fuel and get a little bit of a discount with the M bucks and yeah, so let's go there and get some diesel fuel. Let's get this morning kicked off right. Spending five hundred dollars for fuel. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 you bitch. Good time to shut off here any minute. All right, we're getting close enough. I'm gonna call it a five hundred. Plenty enough fuel, for God's sakes. Jesus. I guess, I guess Bertha was thirsty this morning. Oh, cow. We got one side full and the other side three quarters, or almost full. Good enough. We got a really big tank, so I figured we'd have enough fuel for the day and probably enough fuel for tomorrow. Something like that. All right, let's go, let's go. Well, by God, I don't know if anybody else ever does that, but I always, it's a uh, habit that I learned from my uh, stepmother, Joyce Woomer, who passed away too long ago, in my opinion. She should still be with us. Bam, that's besides the point. I remember her doing that as a kid, and I've always done that. It's like instant habit. I'm sure, I'm sure I'm not the only one that has old habits like that, you know, but miss my stepmother very much and I get emotional thinking about her but anyhow made it down to New Jersey and I am sucking on a black rifle coffee and uh, yeah I'm in Monmouth Junction waiting on them to open up I got my straps off straps are off put away I gotta do my log book yet I gotta get that caught up but I got my worksheet done from last week already uh, yeah, I'm ready to rock and roll, get this week started, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll show you my load quick. So, yeah, here's my load, just a load of lumber. 
uh, to go in this place they uh, built pallets here and this is the pallet stock Those pallets are lumber it's already sold it's already ready to go it's like 40 inch pieces see they have it marked each one of these packs has 646 pieces they're 40 inches long and they go back in and they have a nail gun like a nail and they just pop a piece of wood in pop 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 and they just built pallets all day long all day long yeah this is a pretty easy place to get in and out of uh simple just easy money easy work get it get it done get out of here very simple stuff i don't know what they do with the 16 foot stuff i assume they they cut and hack and chop it up they may have a customer down here that wants some 16 inch pieces for something maybe like a steel mill like a steel company or like a aluminum place that has like aluminum whatever like even plastic like they may have to have some longer pallets so longer pallets you need some longer pieces of wood so they may be making some sort of special pallets i'm guessing yeah they'll chop them up i'm sure they got saws and chop shit like crazy but uh yeah that's a look at my load and uh just chilling just chilling I had an awesome weekend uh it was too short as always i had friday off i got home thursday afternoon i had a doctor's appointment thursday afternoon for my follow-up gallbladder which is kind of a waste of a time but it was like for me to miss work over that appointment just makes me want to like punch myself in the face like i was just like this is just idiotic but whatever and uh so i got my appointment my boy ended up coming up staying with me friday night we went hunting saturday uh he's seen a good many deer and i ain't seen i don't know i had uh one that was creeping into bear rain saturday afternoon but i seen a few deer not many but yeah, my goal this year in hunting is to get a doe dead on state game lands. That's my goal. It's not a big goal. Uh, I'll be thrilled with it. So we'll see. We'll see if it happens. But uh, yeah, kicking this week off, and uh, I'm in one. I, I, Gavin just sent me a message said I'm in one, or I, I, I have one, or I'm on one. Maybe he got one. I don't know. He's a killing little fucker. Holy hell! Sorry for the cursing, but uh, yeah, yeah, he's a killing little dude. He. Uh, He's hard on them. He, we got lots of tags this year. We plan on filling a few of them and uh, eating some meat. So, all right, guys, follow along. Stop number one. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, so we're unloaded in Monmouth Junction, and we are on our way back to Mifflin Town. I got to get back to Mifflin Town, drop this empty trailer and uh, see what's going on for my load to Wisconsin. I gotta get loaded tomorrow to go to Wisconsin. And uh, depending, depending on the load and what time it loads and all that stuff, I might actually get home tonight. Uh, it's very possible I get home tonight. You know, if I can, if I can get home tonight, I'm going home. Uh, but I won't know until I get back. I should be back around 11, 11.30, so that'll be nice. And if I get to get home tonight, guess what? I'm going hunting tonight. And depending on what time my load loads tomorrow, I might go hunting tomorrow morning. I don't think I'll be able to go tomorrow morning, but if I can get out tonight, we're going after a doe. And uh, depending on what time we get out. It just depends on, everything depends on my work for tomorrow. They might need me to run a load of pallets and then go load my load if, uh, if I'm just going to load my load for Wisconsin tomorrow, and then uh, that's it for tomorrow, I'm going home, gonna go hunting tonight, gonna spend the evening with my wife, with my wife, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, enjoy the evening, I guess. She wasn't feeling too good last night, or yesterday at all, neither was I, honestly. I wasn't feeling very good myself. Uh, we both just pretty much slept. We slept all day Sunday, but I knew I had to get up at midnight and go to work, so it wasn't that big a deal for me. And uh, she doesn't sleep very good, so it was nice that she got a little bit of sleep last night or yesterday. And uh, yeah, she's been struggling. She's been going through a lot lately. But anyhow, anyhow, rocking and rolling, headed back to uh, PA. Let's go, let's go. Stay tuned, baby. Let's rock and roll. Good morning. 
It is Tuesday. Tuesday morning. October the 3rd. I am down in Harrisburg. I got a busy day today. These guys need to get on their shit and get me loaded. I gotta get loaded in Harrisburg, drive to Williamsport, unload in Williamsport, reload in Williamsport, come back to Harrisburg, unload in Harrisburg, drive up and get loaded up in Middletown. I got a lot to do. Busy, busy day. Hopefully these guys don't dick around too long. Get me the hell out of here. <laughs> but I'm tired. I, uh, it's my own fault. I decided to get home last night and go hunting, which was awesome. I ended up seeing uh, four or five deer, three doe, three or four doe, I think. Uh, two little bucks. I had one right underneath me. That was awesome. Uh, so, yeah, that was cool. But, yeah, I am tired. <laughs> All right, let's get loaded. I hear them coming, so let's go. All right, fellas, here's a video for you. I am headed out tonight. I am headed out tonight to uh, Wisconsin, and I kind of need windshield wipers. Kind of need that wiper. So, can we fix that? Well, we are locked and loaded with our second load for the day. We uh, got loaded in Harrisburg, delivered in Williamsport. Now we're loaded in Williamsport, heading back to Harrisburg. I got to get unloaded in Harrisburg and come back to uh, Mifflin Town and get loaded for uh, get loaded for uh, what's this called? Wisconsin. Easy money. Easy money. Making it happen, baby. Let's make it happen. Uh, yeah, rocking and rolling. I got a chill wiper broken. I don't know if you can tell or not, but it's not against the window. Like it's three inches away from the window right now. The uh, the arm itself actually broke. It could be dangling any minute from now. <laughs> so one of the guys at the shop, they're working on finding me parts and stuff so they can get me fixed up. I'm gonna try to get all my stuff done today and then get back to the shop, get my windshield wiper fixed, and uh, yeah, get on the road. All right, guys, stay tuned. Let's rock and roll.